There was a group of people who were, tra- who were traveling to Hajj. And back in the days, we know how Hajj was. It wasn't a, it wasn't a two week, three week, four week trip and you come back. A person wants to go to Hajj now. Aren't people at Hajj now? He'll decide, I want to go Hajj. He'll leave now and reach their next Hajj. It'll take him a year to get there. Six months to get there. He'll go through, through literally, literally, literally hell to get there. He has to worry about food and water and, 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 and what's it called? And provisions on the way there. This is a trip where many people don't come back from. So these group of people, amongst them, most of them were young men, were traveling to Hajj. And on the way to Hajj, they went through so much hardship. They were so tired, so exhausted, that the only wish of every single person in that group was for night to fall so they can sleep. That's the only desire. Every day the same thing. They go through so much hardship that, that the only thing they're thinking about the whole day is I can't wait till it's nightfall so I can sleep. So nightfall came. And every single bloke dropped to the floor and slept. So one of these young blokes, he was restless during the night and he looks up and he sees a man standing up and praying. So he, goes, so, so, so he was so tired, he went back to sleep. Then he woke up again just before Fajr. And he saw that man standing still in prayer. Then he went back to sleep and he woke up at Fajr time. And he asked this man, he goes, Oh, so-and-so, how, could, how can you have done what you've done when you're a man at the age of 83 years old? We're, we're young and fit and strong and so on. And our only desire was to sleep and we slept through the whole night. How could you have done what you had done? And you're at the age of 83 years old. So this man said, oh, it's just blessings, it's barakah from Allah and so on and so forth. And this man, he knew that wasn't the case. So he kept asking him and asking him until he'd made a statement. He said, oh, so and so, when the soul works for Allah, the body doesn't get tired. When the soul works for Allah, the body doesn't get tired. And that's the case. If you were really connected with Allah Azza wa Jal, you wouldn't get tired. You wouldn't have enough. You'd constantly want to strive and sacrifice more and give more.